so my packages have all arrived. Yesterday, for us, was November 11, or 11-11, which is a huge sale day here in China. And so I got a few things, actually. I got some Shin uh, Ramyeon, which is a uh, Korean instant noodle. I got some coffee beans in the middle there. The tiny box on the end is a smartphone because, well, the phone that I've been using for the last several years is kind of old and busted. And then there's the tablet. Now the good thing about having the smartphone is hopefully I'll be able to kind of show where I came from. What I mean by that is I'll be able to show uh, the new tablet side by side with the tablet I've been drawing on for the last few years, which I can't show right now because I'm shooting with it. So hopefully I'll be able to shoot more of this video with the smartphone. But forgetting the rest of these packages, let's go ahead and move forward and open the box for the new tablet. So here it is. Now I'm going to have to try and set this tablet up somewhere so that uh, it can shoot automatically while I open this and we see what's inside. I would have ideally liked to find a, an angle from which I could be closer, but things that one might have set up. To make shooting something like this very easy. Oh, looks like this is a little guy containing the start of this and so on. Of course, because I'm on MacBook, I do not actually have a CD slash DVD drive, so we're just going to have to download that stuff from the website. I guess this is a mouse pad. We'll deal with that in a moment, but here's the box. We'll see which side it opens from, I'm guessing here. Slide out. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, it was in there nice and tight, so I had to cut while well, I actually picked it up and got it out of there. So let's see what we got. Looks like first we have this black box. This will be the pen. Well, let's actually open it and see for sure. Oh, I see a power cable. And it looks like the pen holder. So you can see here the pen holder. And I suspect there's probably extra nibs to be found there. Which makes me... Ah, we got the cables. Now I had heard that this does not require power. I don't know if that's true, but it's, I heard that you plug in the HDMI and USB and you're good to go. But it makes me wonder what this is. I guess we'll find out eventually. like some more CDs. Maybe these are the actual installation CDs. And last but not least, here it is. And boy is it thin. And this is what it looks like. You can see here the buttons down the side. And I really want to get a side-by-side -side comparison with my Samsung. So I'm going to have to try to shoot the next bit with my 
new smartphone. So here it is, side by side with my Samsung Galaxy Note. So this is what I've been drawing on for the last uh, few years. And you can see they're pretty comparable in size, so that makes this one uh, still very portable. I probably could fit it in my bag and take it with me in a similar fashion. Uh, it looks like the drawing area is pretty much identical. That'll have to be tested. Also, you can see here, it comes with a glove, I guess, so that you don't uh, smudge the screen or something slide over the screen. And in the pack with the CDs are a bunch of extra nibs, so it looks like you probably wouldn't really have to worry about running out of uh, nibs anytime soon. So there it is. Now granted, uh, the software that I normally used and used to draw with on the Samsung no longer works, and the, and the Samsung is generally old and busted and doesn't draw well anymore, so it's not really worth trying to compare the two, but it looks like the next step is to get these uh, hooked up and uh, connect it to the computer and actually see what it's like to draw with it. Well, here it is. It's plugged in. It looks like uh, just plugging in the USB and HDMI does the trick. I went to the website and downloaded the Mac driver. And when I installed it, it uh, jumped up with a screen that said no tablet. So I plugged in the tablet. And it's a little too bright, so it, it looks like you can't really see it. but. Now it looks like I'm here in an area where I can set up the pen, some info, express keys, and calibration. And so I can't hold the tablet and do that, so I'm going to run through that and see what it looks like. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, took some setting up of the, the drivers and uh, basically I had to mirror the monitors because it was being used like a, a separate monitor and not in the way that I would actually want it because for example uh, TV paint was up on the laptop screen and nothing was on this screen and I prefer to mirror the displays without the displays mirrored I basically couldn't actually see the the preferences pane on the tablet to be able to make use of it but anyway as you can see, it's set up, everything is running, and as far as an actual review of the tablet's performance and what it's like to actually draw on it, that will be another story, and I'll probably think about doing something like that in a couple of days. But for now, uh, it looks very crisp, uh, very happy. Uh, what's interesting is, if I think of it in terms of the uh, tablet PC that I used before, when this is connected, because it actually operates everything, it is essentially uh, standalone. I mean, I can control the, the whole computer, which means I probably could do Moto or other things using this tablet. So it'll be very interesting to see uh, how that goes uh, in the future, and uh, we'll have a real review of the actual tablet in action coming up later. So thank you for watching, and uh, yeah. So far, this tablet seems like a dream, especially for the incredible price of uh, being under $200. And here it is. It's amazing. And uh, thanks for watching.